Hey guys, Squad here. Welcome to another My Summer Car. Just taking a quick sauna. I've basically used the whole bucket of water on myself here because it was my, my dirtiness bar was completely, completely in the red. A little more water left. There we go. An entire bucket of water. It's quite efficient though when you think about it. And if you'd use more than that, if you have a shower or a bath, wouldn't you? It's not bad. Okay, what are we doing today? We are going to deliver the kill you because the guy wasn't there yesterday, so hopefully he'll be there today. We are going to do some poop jobs uh, because we've got four poop jobs to do and we need the money. Uh, and we need to find the muffler, which I hope, I hope, is still with the mechanic. I assume it fell off outside Flitari, uh, but I honestly don't know. Uh, another thing is... I'm going to transfer the bottles of Kill You into here because we're going to be driving the truck and I'm not going to make two journeys because we're going to be going past there anyway. We may as well... We may as well put the bottles in here. Uh, now, that actually reminds me. Have I got any food in here? Yeah, I've got some food. Uh, squeeze me? Bit of food there. We'll put the bottles down here. I fixed the car. As I said I would. So the car's all uh, tip-top and unbent, he says, as he drives his sewage truck into it. Let's pull up alongside here, then we just throw things in. There we go. I'll show you the car now. Okay, so if you remember, because I put the bike in the back, it all just got completely mashed so that's now gone as is the wing dent as well uh, so it's all back as it should be all back in shape I think it's looking pretty good actually I think we'll, we'll leave it like that until we get the metallic done okay so we've now got a million bottles of kill you to put on the floor here so let me just get on with that you kind of see it kind of got a bit full. Let's shut the door quickly before it all falls out. Uh, that's all of it. Also, the camera fell out, which I have to throw back in as well. It's uh, it's absolutely everywhere, this stuff. Look at it. It's <laughs> it's here. It's here. It's all over the place. Get back inside the truck. And the camera's in there somewhere. Oh, crikey, where did the camera go? The camera is ridiculously easy to lose. It, I think it's under those bottles. I threw it and it bounced on and up in up in here somewhere, but there it is. <laughs> God, stay there. Right, let's drop the axis, release the brake, and we're almost here. I took the long way around. I didn't bother going to go down the train track because in the truck you can't really get off the track properly if a train comes. And I couldn't bother waiting, so I just drove around. We're already going to here anyway. And he's back! He's back! Actually, we could do the door being on this side. Just to make it a bit easier. Uh, let's get the parking brake on. Okay. Actually, let's give him a sample. Before we go the whole nine yards on this. Dude, let's see how good this sugar one is. It's the best in town, mate. Come on, cube ball, drink from it. Let's go. What do you think? How much? How much? Come on, cough it up. Give me those sweaty notes, 170. We'll take it, pal. Have another one. We can do this all day. Oh, this is just music. This is absolutely music. 
one on that. 170 marks. How many is that? You've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. I wish there was a quick way of doing this. Seven. Eight. The money is going up. Nine. Oh, no, that's ten. So that's seventeen hundred right there. Nice. I'm liking this. Now we will have to go and get all these plastic bottles back. Once he's finished with them in a couple of days, maybe. We're on Wednesday. Maybe by Friday or something. That's 12. Your table's not big enough, pal. This is good money. I mean, the thing is about this, if you think about all the different jobs, you've got, you're chopping up wood, which is a repeatable job, pays really well, just requires you to stand there and chop up wood tediously and then, you know, drive it over in the tractor, which is pretty slow. But it requires you to basically do the whole thing, like chop it all up, drive it over there, tip it, drive the tractor back. You know, in game terms, it probably takes you, what, half a day? With this one, this is like something that just happens in the background a bit. Once you've got the ingredients, which you do... You know, I wouldn't make a special journey to the shop, but you're always going to the shop at some point. And if you pick up the sugar and the, and the yeast and make sure you've got some in, it's a repeatable thing. But it takes just a few minutes to set up. And then you just leave it. You let it do its thing. Dude. Okay. Thought he was ripping me off then. Uh, and the tediousness of this one is bottling everything up and getting all the bottles over here because the game, annoyingly, won't let you put anything inside a container. So you have to do it one by one. And then, of course, you have to get all your bottles back and repeat the process. But it's not a bad little learner. The sewage drops, now they're the ones that are time limited. They're on a timer. There's nothing you can do about those. You know, they, they come up when they come up. But same with the kill you, it's basically on a timer because you can't speed it up at all. The wood one is probably the one that you can earn the most out of because you can just keep grind you can actually grind that one properly. But I like the fact they're all different. Would be nice to get some different jobs. I mean, the scraps, you know, the scrap ones that you take for Flitari are not repeatable. They're just like one-off paid jobs that you can take. But once you've done those, that's it. You can't do them again. It would be nice if some of the AI people gave you like little errands to do. Like, can you take this over to here? Can you drop some poop in this guy's garden? You know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'd be nice to have some different ways to earn money. Right, now, we're on our way down to the mechanic. We've got two sewage jobs to do at the mechanic. And then we're going to drive up to uh, the shops. Well, we've got two more sewage jobs to do. Then we'll have to empty the sewage truck. I don't know why. Or what on. <laughs> or whom on. And then... Um, then we've got to do something about Mr. Wub Wub, because we're in the truck now. So we need to think of something interesting to do with Mr. Wub Wub. Maybe I'll just take him back to my house and make him my friend, I don't know. Uh, let's think. Did I just pass the job? I just passed the job, didn't I? I think there's one back here. What we need to do first. This track is so kind of 60s, isn't it? So very 60s swing. Come on. I 
hate it when the truck gets in this like weird state where it starts to mess around. Okay, let's see if that's all right. Um, probably need to be a little bit further forward for this one. Maybe that'll do. I'm sure Mr. What, Mr. Uh, Green Card's going to come down here. Uh, okay. I think we can make this work. Let's find out. It should just neatly tuck under there. Come on. We're going to... We're basically turning waste into um, money, which is turned into parts for our car. It's hilarious. We're taking people's poo... And making it into part upgrades on a car. It's quite amusing if you think about it. Yo, buddy! How we doing, bro? How's Mr. Sweaty Armpits doing? You don't seem to react to that. That's probably cleaning you, to be honest. Grab a bit while we can. Keep an eye out for the green car. We should be all right here. That should be coming up on two and a half thousand. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mind if I do. You deserved your money. He's so nice, that guy. Unlike some of the other scumbags. Oh, it's the death song. That boards well. Right, let's pull forward a little bit. Now, if the green car comes along right now, then this is going to get really fun. No, 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 no. Don't fall down. That's it. Step this way. Cool. Let's get back in the truck before he turns up. That's one done. Look at our money now. Twelve grand. Nice. Each of these paying twelve hundred. Yo! This is like annoying me down the side though. Okay. Hmm. I think we may need to go a bit further back. Let's have a quick look. It's kind of hard to get any depth perception. Yep, we need to go quite a bit back. Whoa! Jeez, man! I've never done that before. I've never managed to punch a truck five feet <laughs> sideways. That's pretty impressive. Obviously, I had three Weetabix for breakfast. Blimey. Okay, let's try and gauge this. Gotta be about that, I reckon. Oh, chord change. Mm, that may not be long enough. We may have to pull it back a little bit more. For that to work. Let's kick it off. Let's see what happens. Let's go and see if uh, Fitari's open. Yo! 
Yeah. How we doing? Let me call him. Boil a mirror, sir. Boil a mirror, sir. You yeah, always say that. Repair of broken engine parts, three grand. You see, parts are going to start breaking on my car. Brake check and repair, wheel alignment, motor tuning, windshield replacement. Wow, 2,000 for that. Roll cage I've already done. So you can have the roll cage removed now. I'm not really sure why you'd want it, to be honest, but you can do it. Final gear change. Nobody heard, blah, blah, blah. Regular colour, metallic colour. So we can afford to get this done. Some really cool paint job done. Any colour you like. Make it like a gold car. Or red, purple. Have like a twitch purple. <laughs> Rim painting metal colour, rim painting regular colour, rim polish. Wait, is this new? I don't remember getting options for the rim. Rim polish. Rim painting regular colour, rim painting metallic. Interesting. See you later, bro. Nice looking through your catalogue. I'm very happy with your work. I couldn't do any better. Even so, because you don't actually own the machine. I can't imagine doing this job, though. I can just... I can well imagine that smell is pretty horrendous. Like, if you ever change the nappy, think of that like times a thousand. That's got to be some potent stuff. Let's get this thing out of there. Let's go back. Get out of it. There we go. Right, that's two done. So we should have about 5k. Which we do indeed. 5,000 litres of the very best that people have to offer in this village. We might as well take the road. Okay, can I have some suspension, please? Thanks. There we go. Right, now we can sleep in the truck if necessary, so it's not a problem. And we've got a sofa down at the shop, which is cool. So if you think about it, we actually have four places to sleep now. We have our house obviously. We have uh, the, the little apartment, the little log cabin on the island, which is cool. Uh, we have the sofa, which is at the shop. And they're all like, one's, one's in the sort of middle of the map, middle of the lake. One's in the top of the map, and one's sort of middle bottom of the map. And the other one is this one, which is the back there, which is mobile. So you can have a mobile sleeping place. That's four sleeping places. It's not bad. Now, one other option you can you know you can have the sofa up at the shop. Another option is you can have the sofa you know en route somewhere, maybe down at Flitari, for example, because you know that the green car drives through this like twice um, as he's doing his little run. So that's an option there is to just put the sofa there, and then if you're really desperate, you can grab a lift off the green car, get dropped off at Fitari and instantly go to sleep, like if you're really desperate, you know, fatigue-wise. But, the green car now takes you back home, apparently. Which, I'm not really sure how that works, I presume you get into his vehicle and then he takes a detour, because when you're in the vehicle... Like, let me put it this way, you never drive to your house when you're not in the vehicle, so I assume when you get in it, he will take you to your house, as part of the route. But what I don't know is, does he do that on the way to the shop or, or away from the shop? Come on, where's the police? Fancy some fun with the cops today. Hey! 
<laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that was close. That was, I was trying to give him like a little, little kiss on the cheek though. I don't want to go full rip. Because even though I can't really die in the truck, I can easily flip this thing over and... It's a bit of a pain to get back. I wish he put something near the shops as well so you can get a sauna or a shower or something. That'd be kind of cool. Even if you charge for it. Yeah, I'm staying away from that guy who just drove on my side of the road. He had the same idea as me. I think we've got the left turn. Sweet! Right, let's get these jobs done. Ooh! Hello, Mr. Bus Driver. Hey! How you doing? When are you leaving? As if my truck just stole. Hmm. He's actually really hard to push this, this coach because... I don't know, he's like he's on rails basically. I was just thinking what kind of fun we could have with him. I wish he had a towing point. <laughs> I'm gonna say. When he's not moving, you can actually push him around quite a bit, it seems. What can we push you? We can push you in that ditch down there, maybe. Oh, I think he might be pushing. Yeah, his wheels are moving now. He's pushing back. He's got wise to us. I can see that back wheel turning. Somebody's going to be late for the um, for the for the get to get the bus, aren't they? Uh oh, we straightened him up. I think he might be stuck on a tree. The only way I can tell is if I get out the truck. <laughs> oh boy, where's he going? One sec. Let's have a look. He's not about to drive into me, is he? Hey! Uh, his door's still open, actually. He's going to drive forward any minute. I need to be really careful here. Let me get back in my truck. I don't trust this guy. Let's go and face forward. I think he's still waiting. Any second now he's going to suddenly start his schedule. Let's see if we can push him this way. No, he's, he's pretty fixed right there. No, he started moving. He started going. What a scum. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Come on, pal. We can drive together. See, so he's stuck on a tree or something. <laughs> I think he's actually stuck. He's going to get free. Here he goes. Here he goes.
He's off. He's off. There's a green car. This is going to get pretty chaotic real fast. No, you can't push me. No. No. Go that way. Go that way. Into the MOT center. Go on. Into the MOT. You can do it. You need to get that bus checked anyway. We just straight him left a bit. Go on. In you go. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is genius. Hang on. Let's see if we can get him in a bit more. He's actually trying to drive in. Go on. Oh, you scumbag. Don't you dare get out of this. Don't you dare escape. Nah, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> what we need to do now, we need to get this guy to um, put him on the ramp or something. I need to give him a bit of a nudge the other way. He used to open. Uh, hey! Ritaling, ritaling out of to Good morning and welcome to the car inspection. Um, do you do coaches? Because I've got, I've got a friend. He's a bit shy. But he wants to get his coach MOT. He wants to get it tested. Do you think you can have a look for me? Can we not operate this thing? God, that would be so funny if I could. Yeah, he's actually jammed into the whole thing. Did I leave all these wheels here? I don't actually remember leaving all this junk. Anyway, I'll leave it with you. Can you not stand in my wheel? Like, I know you're not a tall chap. But I don't think there's any real reason to, uh... To stand like this. <laughs> oh my god, this is too good. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> this is comedy gold, oh my god, oh that's genius, and you know what, you've got your very own tablet haven't you, your 90s tablet, that you got. <laughs> oh man, oh what else can we do to him, oh no. I'm in tears, what else can we do, can we, That's going to look a bit strange. Can we stick that through that way, maybe? Let's just leave that there. Oh, dear. I need to take a, I need to take a photo of that. That's just too funny. <laughs> Go on, look at me. I love it when he looks at me. There he goes. I want to screenshot him when he just takes a little glance at me. He forgot the wheel. Look. Now all he's going to do, he's just going to drive forward, isn't he? He doesn't actually smart enough to stick it into reverse. So I reckon if we give him a little little tap there on the side, he may drive in a bit more. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, man. Oh, that is funny. Right. Let's come around this way a little bit. The fun you can have in a truck. There you go. Just a little bit more that way. Oh, you see, you've gone all skew if now. I don't think I can straighten him up. I can't get around the back of him to straighten him up. Oh, the outrage. Look, I tried to help you. Okay, let's just let's just leave you like that then. One sec. Let's have a look at this. This carnage. Some lights off. Oh man, look at that. There's not going to be any people catching the bus today, that's for sure. He's going to be there, like, literally he's going to be there all day. Alright, let's go and do these jobs. <laughs> look how I get over the guy in the uh, test centre. You, just, just, you could just decorate him. 
He just sat there taking it. Oh man. To wipe a tear from my eye. All right, we've got another job down here. I've got two down here actually. I've got one here and then one in front, just up the road there. And then that's all of them. Actually, I need to be careful I don't kill the guy. Let me just see where we are. Oh boy. That was a bit close. Health and safety and all that. Well, where's my camera though? Come on, seriously game. Why is my camera here? Right, stick the head out the window. Gotta be around there. Ish. Scientifically, about there ish. That wasn't a bad guess, actually. Okay. Don't worry, pal. We're here to empty your, uh, your number two tank. So you can go and enjoy yourself on the toilet later. Knowing full well, it's not going to come back on you. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Right, we're a bit hungry, a bit thirsty. Let's whack that on there. A couple of beers. I think we might have to sleep in town tonight, I'm not sure. Because we're getting a bit tired here. Wouldn't really make it back if you drove all the way. Ah, the midday sun. And a beer in the face. What are we on? Well, I'm swaying. Five and a half thousand. Or looking for seven and a half thousand. Look at the sway on that. I'm very happy with this. Here is your money. 1,200 mark. And we get to keep all of his poop. Let's pull forward a bit. We have one more to do, and he is right behind us, so it's going to take two seconds to get over there. Now, you have a nice day, sir. You're actually quite slim compared to the other guys. The other guys are pretty fat. He's actually quite slim. You can actually get that this way. And it has the big advantage of not having to reverse in. <laughs> you do have to drive over the track though, but whatever. There it is. I reckon about the afternoon, sir. We're here to uh, collect your number twos and number ones, shall we say? My life, I nearly fell in there then. It's actually quite worrying. Come on, in you go. In you go. There we go. Yeah, fatigue bar's going up, hunger bar's going up. I think I might go to the shop in a minute and grab some grub. It's either that or we could kind of sleep here tonight and just go to the bar at night. Have some sausage and chips and what have you. Sorry, I just had to go. Wow, look at that. <laughs> when you jump up when you're having a wee. <laughs> Flings in the air. It's all good nitrates for your garden. You see, your grass is looking a bit thin here. 
but my nitrates are going to help. Now the question is, where are we going to put 10,000 litres of rubbish? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it would fit in this mailbox. Oh, you can't open the mailbox, can you? We've done the test centre. We've done Mr. Wub Wub. Maybe you should just put it on the main road. I don't know. You could go and empty it on the football pitch, I suppose. Need to get rid of it somewhere. It's got me done now. Just over nine. Nice slippers. I'm liking them. They go well with the top. You should give up smoking, you know. Oh, he's the one who's embarrassed. Just take the money and let's get on with our lives. I wonder if he's the one that has the kid that rings up. You know what I mean? There's always one of him who phones up going, He's basically going, my dad is drunk. And he's asked me to phone up about, about the poop. I wonder if that's him. Let's get this thing back. Or not, because it doesn't want to. This thing, if it doesn't want to come out, it doesn't want to come out. It just does its own thing. Right. Where shall we go and tip this? That is the question. Hmm. See, Timo's good to us. I don't really want to tip it on Timo. The coachman we've kind of done but I can't really tip it inside his coach now because his door's on the other side have we done the church actually this guy's got a nice house around here hasn't he where is he this guy he's got a nice little house he's got a nice car as well Okay. Oh. All over the sob, baby. Oh, it, you see, the colour of the car now matches the house. It's poetry. It was meant to be. It's just pure poetry. I need to pull forward so I can actually open the spill valve. Or close the spill valve. Look at that. I wish it was a bit more, um, a bit more realistic. Like 10,000 litres would look a lot worse than that. But never mind. We got rid of it. Right. Let's go and grab a bit of food as well. Now, we know the busman's not going to come back. He's a bit busy right now. Trying to work out how to get over test centre without reverse gear. Yo! How we doing, pal? How's the car? Good day to you, Glumpsy. You what? You what, mate? Right, let's buy um, a couple of them. We'll keep one in the car. And uh, what else do we need? A bit of milk. Do anything else? Mozzie spray. Mm. I, think, I think we're good with that, actually. Thanks. We'll see you again. 
So we'll uh, eat one. Yeah, the fatigue bar's gone red. We'll eat one. We'll have a quick beer. Spin it around. Let's be very careful here that we don't actually hit the guy. If you hit him, he'll suddenly drive off. Like stealth towing. Human waste transport guy. Oh, you, you're just a big talker now, aren't you, pal? Now, do you remember when you took my door off the other day? Uh huh. Should sell some curl yala. Yeah, you've not tried my stuff. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Let's make some friends. He's off. He's realised what's going on. <laughs> He's just realised what's happening. Yeah, you see, your car can't pull this thing, mate. Not going to happen. <laughs> I'll be amazed if he doesn't die spinning around like that. Okay, let's take him down the highway. It's like a pendulum swing on the back of the truck. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Do you know what? Wouldn't it be funny if we actually met the police now? Like, really funny. If, if we drove, like we're towing a vehicle and the police turn up and stop me. I'm like, yes officer, I've not been drinking. Now then, we can take him think about this we could take him down to the train track and see what happens what we could do is we could turn in for the turning for the airport that's a bit shorter round to the train track honestly if he keeps spinning around though he's going to swing into this well that white car to with me Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get him to swing into that thing. Here we go. So we could go this way, or we can go a long way around. Let's go this way. <laughs> He's still with us, I think. There he is. green cards ditched it look no way so the bus is out of action the green car guy is out of action and the coach driver sorry the um the woobub's out of action because i'm towing him we've basically managed to break three ai vehicles whoa whoa dude did you see that? Guy's going absolutely ballistic. Look at this. I wish I could see it properly. Look at that. It's just nuts. It's actually going sideways. Right, now we should be coming up to the train track shortly. Whoa, 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 dude. Can you not? You need to yank the truck over there. This is insane. It's like having a giant weight on the back just flailing around. And now he's trying to drag me into the... Holy cow! Did you see the physics on that? Did 
did you actually see that then? He went into the ditch, flipped upside down, and almost dragged the uh, truck with it. I might not even make it to the track at this rate. It's perhaps just as well the green car's not is out of action. We should have stuck to the highway now. I've got one more stretch of water to go before um, which he could pull us into. Oh boy. This is it. This is the um this is another bit he could drop us into. Oh he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Oh my god. Oh my life. This is just insane. Right, the train track's coming up, it's here now. Thank God. Right, let's see. Okay. Let's take him down this way. I don't know where the train is currently, that's the only problem. Oh my god, it's right behind us! Oh my life! <laughs> Flipping heck. That was pretty scary. I thought we were going to get hit then. Alright, let's see if we can convince this guy to reverse that way. See, he's, he keeps trying to pull that way, so in theory... In theory, he will drive that way. Just needs a bit of encouragement. Come on, drive down to the train track, mate. Don't be shy. That's it, don't be shy. Uh oh. Why can't I pull anymore? I'm actually stuck. I don't know why, but I'm actually stuck. There we go. Right. Let's have a quick look where we are. Let's have a sit rep. Okay. So, the situation is... If the train comes out of here... I don't know what's going to happen. I think the truck is going to go absolutely ballistic as well. If I detach the rope, there's every chance he'll just not stay on the track. If I stay in the truck when the train hits it, I'm probably a dead man. Oh, he's actually off the track, you utter scumbag. You utter scumbag. He's ruining all my plans here. And now I can't move. Dude, can you just not, like, play nicely and die? In spectacular fashion. Meanwhile, that train's gotta be coming any minute. Let's have a look where that leaves us. Uh, that's not a good position to be in. See, that's not bad. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's coming. Get ready. Oh my god. This this is going to go absolutely insane. 
No, get back on the track. Get back on that track. Get back on that track, you. Come this way, pal. Oh, what the heck just happened? I have no idea where he has gone. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, he's there. Oh, look at his feet sticking through. Look at that. It's just genius. Oh, what a picture. Let me go around here. Is he You see what happens when you mess with my door? Oh my god. Oh, that is the best. That is the best death I've ever seen from Mr. Wub Wub. Oh, where's the camera? Hang on. We've actually got a camera. Which is allegedly in my truck. But after what just happened, it's highly, highly unlikely it's still in my truck. Hang on. Pizza, beer. Oh, man, see, the camera's just insanely hard to keep hold of. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Smile! Oh man, that is so cool. Now, I've killed Wobble a few times, but I reckon that is the most spectacular one. By far. Now, the problem is, if I sleep... If I sleep now... I do need to sleep. I'm going to die if I don't. Actually, it's only if I save it ruins it. Hang on, let, let me turn the radio off. Let's kill the engine. Let's go to sleep. Oh. By the train track. <laughs> oh, we woke up. Let's get those glow plugs warmed up. Look at this. That guy left some serious skid marks before he died. Where is he? There he is. Now, what I'm wondering is, as we drag this guy, what is he actually going to do? Hmm. Let's get it started. I'll tell you what we could do, actually. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Wish you knew where the train was right now. Because he's dead, he won't try and drive the truck. The, the car. Oh my god. Dude! 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 He's become undead! He's like, reanimated? What? Wow, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Can you, can, can you come with me? Can you... <laughs> Oh, my life. Oh, watch your head. <laughs> oh, this is actually grotesque. He doesn't want to be dragged very easily. There we go. Do you think you could be my passenger for a while? I wonder if I can actually get him inside the truck. Man, you do not want to move, do you? Look at his head shaking. Can I lift you up? 
You're a bit heavy, pal. You're a big lad. I'm just wondering if we can... No, we can't. We're not strong enough. We can drag you around, but just not strong enough to uh, to pick you up. Man found dead by train track. <laughs> this is just super, super weird. Oh, God, the train's coming. Oh, I haven't got time. No, we can't. That's just wrong. We can't leave him there. That's ridiculous. Dude, come on. Seriously, don't mess about. Dude, dude, you've got to come with me. Don't stay here. Don't stay here. There we go. That would just be crazy to stay on that track. <sighs> See, I saved your life. Imagine what would have happened. Right, now we know the train has gone that way. We're now safe to drive over here. With the car. Because we've got a couple of minutes before it comes back out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No, 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 no. No. Get back over there. You was in an absolutely beautiful spot and you ruined it, you stupid game. Let's get you back on the track. That's a bit more like it. Now, can we shove it forward a little bit? Can we shove it forward a touch? Wow, why is that thing still... What the heck is going on with the physics? What? What? This is insane. Why has that got power in the back wheels? That makes no sense. Okay, I, I, I've no idea what's going on there. There's a ghost driving the car. That's like right on the other side of the flipping track now. Come on, come on, up you go. This is playing real awkward today. Oh my god. Oh my god, the train's coming. Oh! Oh, that was the closest thing to death. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my life. The train must have missed me by like inches. Where did the car go? Oh, <gasps> look at that. That's just nuts. It went like right over there. That is actually crazy. I came so close to dying on that train. Okay. I think after that near-death experience we should probably call it quits on playing on the train track. Because bad things are going to happen. I'm not sure what it can do with his body though. Because I can't actually put it in the truck. Wait, where did he go?
Wait. <laughs> what? Didn't I... Didn't I not just drag his body over here? I, I had it here, and then I dragged it over here. And I left it there while I then got the car, did I not? So let me get this straight. The body's disappeared, and the car's driving itself. Hmm. I think I'm just going to drive home now. That's about as much weird as I can take. Let me have a quick beer. Let's take the shortcut back. What could possibly go wrong? It's a pity I couldn't lift him up because I would like to have taken him... I could have had a passenger here in the truck and we could have taken him home as well. I think you could fit him inside a car or something but you can't lift him up in the truck. You can drag him around but you can't physically lift him. Which is fair enough. You know, he's a big guy really. So we're clear. Definitely shorter though if you can take the train track blimey. Way quicker. Well, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, that's some weird stuff that's happened just thinking about it now. That's one of the most gruesome deaths I've seen Mr. Wobble have. Like, feet sticking through the floor, shaking all around. I've never seen that before. That's hilarious. And then for his body to just be, like... I saved his life. Well, I didn't really. I saved his body from being run off my train. Put him by the side, and then he just disappeared. Like, he walked off. The guy reanimated himself and walked off. And then just to top it all off, his car basically drives itself. It's like Kit or something. It's like Knight Rider. It just drives back on its own. There's, there's more than meets the eye with that guy, Mr. Wub Wub. I think he genuinely is undead. I think he's some kind of lich. Some kind of lich king. But that, you know, that was fun though. Still, we managed to earn some decent money. We've got almost 16,000 in the bank now. Which means we can actually afford a metallic paint job. And we've got a trailer full of wood. So life is good just a bit weird what a day Thursday was blimey on the plus side it's almost rally day which means tomorrow we're gonna have to start prepping for the rally properly Got just the carburetor. We'll probably take the wood tomorrow. Adjust the carb. Uh, oh crikey, I've not found the muffler. <gasps> I've not found the muffler. Right, Friday's job is to find the muffler. That that's what we have to do. We can't afford not to. Let's have a snack and a drink. Okay. Right, so Friday's job, adjust the carburetor, find the muffler, take the wood over, and get ready for a rally on Saturday, where we're going to try and get our best lap time. That is the basic plan for Friday. I can't believe this week has gone so quickly. Oh my god. What a week. Before you know it, you're rallying again. Not that you have to enter anything, but you know, feels rude not to. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode. That was one of the craziest episodes of My Summer Car I think I've ever done. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll go and get us a sauna and get ready for Friday's fun. Take it easy, guys. Happy driving.